Ava also kept a home in Baja, Mexico. In June of 1995 she went there with friends for a week-long vacation. As the story goes, on June 20th she ate a bad piece of fruit and contracted viral pneumonia. The condition made Ava so weak, she became disoriented, and she collapsed on a staircase in her house. She fell and broke her hip. Unable to get a plane back immediately and probably not wanting to risk a Mexican hospital, her friends called Merv Griffin, who was devastated at the news. He provided a private jet to whisk Ava to Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles the next day. By the time she was admitted into Cedars on June 21, her condition had worsened. She had fluid in her lungs and a fever. Upon further examination a blood clot was discovered. Doctors put her on antibiotics for the pneumonia and heparin for the clotting. She was also breathing with the assistance of a respirator and heavily medicated for the hip pain. Eventually, Ava became comatose. When her condition showed no signs of improvement, family and friends prepared for the worst. Ava died in her fifth floor room at Cedars Sinai. It was 10.05 a.m. on Tuesday, July 4. She was 76 years old. She was cremated and buried in Westwood Memorial Park. Within arm's distance from John Cassavetes, Don Knotts and her Green Acres co-star Eddie Albert. Ava's memorial service was held on July 11, 1995 at Good Shepherd Catholic Church.